Okay, first we're gonna start with um, our garnishes and this is gonna give color to our board. So okay. feel free to use one orange, you can use an artichoke, whatever okay. you're feeling. All right. So we're gonna cut it in half, not with the core. We're gonna cut it down the middle this way. This way. Because it's gonna give us some really okay. pretty color. And this is gonna be edible if you'd like, but it's really just to add some color and some kind of texture because we're gonna build upon them. Okay. Um, so the cups here, I like using little ramekins because they hold cute. everything. So I usually do like a little pickle in one and then um, I'll do like jam or we can do like olives. Okay. So I'm gonna add some pickles into my first one. Okay. And honestly, it's all just kind of by eye. So like you put as many as you like or whatever you think looks good. That's the nice part when I do classes, everyone looks so different which is super fun. So now we're gonna grab a jam. Um, this is a jam company I use, Quince and Apple. They're amazing. Um, they do small batches in the Midwest. Oh, super cute. So usually what I do is, um, obviously when you're eating the actual board, you're gonna wanna pop it up, but I always put oh, it sideways okay. just super to cute. give it a little bit of a definition. You can see what kind of you know flavor and stuff it is. Now we'll add the artichoke hearts okay. into our other bowl. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the cheeses. So let me grab some cheese. So we have a couple varieties here today. We're gonna do a manchango, which we'll start nice. with. So a manchango is great because it's almost like a Parmesan. Um, I love cheese. It's hard, oh. it's mild, but it has a great little taste to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rind off because okay. it's not edible. Okay. So we're just gonna cut that side off there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three of my pieces okay. and I'm actually gonna cut them in half. Lengthways, so they're just making smaller triangles. You can always move stuff around. I'm gonna take my first piece, I'm gonna lay it just, I'm gonna put the, ends, the rind in and this out. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna alternate. So then we're gonna oh, I did my little No, I love this, but that's what I like because everyone looks different, that's the fun part of it, it's all gonna taste the same. So this is a double cream brie. I already cut this in half, it was a larger wheel. So there's a ton of different things you can do with a brie. Um, it is a softer uh, wet cheese. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take it in small little triangles. So like we're gonna go all the way around it and just create little cuts. So I'm gonna grab this truffle gouda. This is one of my favorites. I try to work this in on my boards. Um, black truffle to it, a nice rich flavor. So on yours, I believe, yep, I cut the rind off of that. So I'm just gonna cut my rind off. Okay. And for most cheeses, the rule of thumb is um, if you can peel the rind off, it's wax, and you don't want that. So this is an aged Havarti. It is um, six years of age. It's incredible. Um, so with lock cheeses, there's a couple different methods. We can either do the pick method, which is when you put your knife into the corner and just peel. Okay. And then you're left with this kind of rustic piece, which I like better. Okay. Um, or we can go traditional. Okay. And do a block. Okay. So you choose either one works. I will probably go the traditional route. Right? Absolutely. So those are our cheeses. So next we're going to do our cured meats. So, so we have capicola, no, 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 it's great, <laughs> and a frigido. Oh, I love it. So um, I always like to do two different styles of meat, so meaning like one round yep. um, or a hard um, lock, okay. or, and then a frigido. Okay. So first with the capicola, we're going to peel it apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, in the palm of our hand, we're going to fold it in half, and then we're going to fold it in half again. And then we're just gonna pinch the bottom and then it's gonna create this like almost little florette. And then this way, it helps it stand together. We can find a spot on our board that looks like we can like fill this. it. Never and it's bite sized, you just like someone will grab it and it's already whole pieces and you're good to go add it to a little cracker or a bite half by itself. So what we're gonna do is just take your knife. I'm just gonna have the prosciutto. Okay. You can leave it whole. I just think it's a little easier and again bite sized to okay. grab it off the board. And same thing, we can put it all in the same place or we can kind of meander it and do it in different areas. And next we're gonna go with our crackers. So we have a couple options here. So these are great because they're gonna stand up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these. You can do them in a couple bunches. You can do them in one big bunch depending on how much room you have. This is my little eat after pile. <laughs> uh, yeah, there has to be an eat after pile. It's the best part. Filling it in, it's coming together. I love it. Perfect. Okay, so 
Okay, so now we've added our crackers. So now the fun part, we're gonna add nuts, we're gonna add garnish, we're gonna add fruits. Okay. So I'm gonna start with blackberries. So like, I have three spots right now, and I feel like that looks good. It brings the color throughout the board, and then it just kind of brings it all together. Love it. So it's so spray and amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to nuts. So I'm gonna start with the candy pecans. These are okay. so good. Just classic, you can't even eat a little sweetness to it. So drop these in little spaces that you feel like need to be filled. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna add some garnish. So this okay. is like one of my favorite parts. I love greenery, I think it adds to the board and it just kind of pops everything. So we'll take it out, we'll see what we have. We have rosemary and thyme today. So I'll start with some rosemary. Okay. And you're gonna wanna just pop it on the edge or inside, anywhere you find some empty crevices. Okay. So like over here now I'm in Shango with my blackberry. You can also break them in half too if they're too big. I'm gonna put some over with my Gouda. It just adds the finishing touch that it needs. And that's it really, you know? You put it together. So cute. You look, You look at everything, you're like, does this feel right to me? And it kind of just all comes oh together. Right in the beginning you're like, I, I don't know about this. Loving this. You do it and there it is. It's just so fun. So I really, I love oh sharing gosh, this with you. High five. I love it. So fun. I absolutely so love fun. it. And this is the best part you get to enjoy. It. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> beautiful. So you can eat it. You can eat it throughout the day. You can pop it in the fridge, a little saran wrap. Um, it lasts, you know, it'll last yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. days, and you can awesome. kind of just. I have to say, yeah. I think doing like the the sprigs of greenery, I would never think to do it, and it looks so pretty. It just adds something. It just I kind of finishes it. it off.